Now that you've unboxed your trainer, let's get started. Your trainer comes fully assembled with the exception of the HMI touchscreen option and the LMC linear actuator option. The HMI has two mounting opportunities. It has the front mount for a compact application. And in that case, we're gonna pop the end anchor off the left side of the PowerFlex drive, slide the PowerFlex over. You'd remove these two screws, put this in place, reinstall the screws, slide this to the left and reinstall the end anchor. The more popular option is the side mount that connects it to the aluminum extrusion over here. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and plug in our pre-wired cables. Then we're gonna pop this end cap off of the aluminum extrusion and this one leg has a T-nut. We'll slide it over it and pop the end cap back on. The motion controller and motor power relay are pre-wired for you, and there's two extra bolts on the right side of your trainer. Remove the nut and washer, then attach the linear actuator in place of it, and put the washer and nut back on. If you decide you need one of those options later, then they're available for individual purchase. Now you're ready to power up your PLC trainer. Your trainer comes pre-installed with the PLC program for your initial testing and your first wiring exercise. First check for the run LED. That tells us our PLC program is running. Then check to make sure output four is on. That tells us that we're communicating with the PowerFlex 525 drive. And finally, if you have the LMC linear actuator option, check for output five. That tells us that we're communicating with the motion controller. If you have the HMI option, then we left you a surprise way to play with your trainer right away. We've already configured the communication so that you can control your drive with the HMI. And we've given you a way to turn on your green, yellow, red, and blue outputs. So if I press the start button, then our drive is gonna start. We see a gauge going up here. We can hit the plus and we can change the speed. Also, we can hit here and just enter a different value. And then we press the stop button and it'll stop. We also see it trending down here. If we press the green button, then our trend shows it. And once you get to the getting started guide, your light will turn on. We can press the yellow, we can press the red, and we can press the blue. Now you're ready for your first wiring exercise. Note that this trainer works with more than just the Studio 5000 lessons. You can refer back to the getting started guide that's linked in the bottom left for the latest list of lessons that I'll work for. Click here to start your wiring exercise. 